welcome to Atlanta City Council District 3 and the site for the future historic MEMS Park. The Watershed Report, brought to you by the City of Atlanta's Department of Watershed Management. The Department of Watershed Management, in conjunction with the Department of Parks and Recreation, Trust for Public Land, and National Monuments Foundation, recently hosted an open house at MEMS Park. The event provided Vine City residents and community members an overview of the park's conceptual design and allowed them to provide valuable feedback. We're out here today to meet with the community to show them how far we've gotten on conceptual design of our project. Our project is to solve the problem of capacity overflow problems that we have within this neighborhood which causes localized flooding and heavy storm events. You know, along with the housing was an existing creek called Proctor Creek that runs right through this land, which is underneath us as we speak, is a large trunk line that is managed um, for years, we thought, adequately until 2002. November of 2002, we had the largest flood event this neighborhood has seen, where 160 families that occupied this land lost everything. And so we're taking that area and we're actually separating the storm water from the combined system and directing it into the pond that we're having. And this will be a wet pond. It'll be a pond just like Fourth Ward Park Pond that anybody can come to and see the ecological habitat. The new 16-acre park will include a 10 million gallon retention pond that will store and treat stormwater runoff from surrounding areas to reduce flooding. The retention pond will also increase capacity relief and eliminate sewer overflows. Livingston Mims and Atlanta Mayor donated the original Mims Park to the city in the late 19th century. Livingston Mims' grandson, Rodney Mims Cook Jr., is founder and president of National Monuments Foundation and is playing a vital role in overseeing the development of the park. The plans that we produced were the culmination of, of about three years of investigation into what the community wanted because the initial design is a 19th century Olmstead design. We're a 21st century community and there are a lot of changes that have been made over the last 125, 30 years and we wanted to listen and hear what the community wanted. In addition to the retention pond, the park will also feature a peace column and monuments of Atlanta historic leaders. Community engagement is critical to the success of the park. You know, this is a very complex project and it takes a lot of team members to play in it. The Trust for Public Land prides themselves on a participatory design process. So what that means is that we are working with the residents of the neighborhood and residents of the community to um, let them inform us what they want to see in the park. What I would like to see here in this park would be safe playgrounds for the children, um, exercise equipment, our workout stations, um, and also possibly a basketball court. Mayor Kasim Reed has set an aggressive schedule for the park's completion and anticipates groundbreaking in the summer of 2016 and completion by August of 2017. As the councilman of this district, I'm excited about what this means for all of the historic neighborhoods that sit along the Simpson Road, Simpson uh, Boone Boulevard corridor. We have to have economic development and we know we've got to bring in new residents as well. So we will be protecting existing residents but we will be inviting, with all the new amenities that exist, uh, new residents that will co contribute to the economy of this community. And so we will see a thriving Boone Boulevard corridor, a thriving Donald Hollowell corridor, a thriving Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, with the economics that exist here and that will be brought here that will really make a difference. And we think this park is absolutely catalytic to make all that happen. For more information about this project and other watershed updates, visit our website, atlantawatershed.org, or visit us on our social media pages at ATL Watershed.